All right, to start our magazine jig, we're going to use a piece of laminated pine that you buy at the home supply store that's way overpriced, but I haven't got a use for this particular board, so uh, we're going to use it for this project. It's uh, three quarter inches thick. It is uh, 10 inches wide, which is uh, exactly the width that we need, so this makes it a good board to use for this purpose. So uh, 13 inches long is going to be the first piece, which is going to be uh, the bottom of the jig. So it's 10 inches wide, 13 inches long. Uh, the second piece is going to be a strip that is uh, 7 8 inches wide and 13 inches long. And then the third piece is another strip that's uh, 7 8 inches wide and it's 9 and 3 quarter inches long. So we're going to take this over to the uh, saw and cut this thing up. And yes, I do have a mess in here. One of these days. One of these days. Eye protection. Don't need any haters. Here's what we got. Got our three pieces that we just cut. 13 inches long, 10 inches wide, 3 quarter inches thick. Got a 7 8 inch strip that's 13 inches long, 3 quarter inches wide. Then I think I told you uh, that this piece was 9 and, and some change. It's actually 9 even. So it's 9 inches long, uh, 7 8 inches wide. And then uh, it's uh, three quarter inches thick as well. So the fourth piece is our stop that we'll put on the back here. And this is just a little quarter inch piece of hobby wood. And it'll go here and I'll attach it to the bottom piece. And then what will happen is, is this will come up, the magazine will go in and slide against that. This is down. Tighten it up and then we'll drill our holes. And that's that. So we're going to use these T nuts. We're going to use six of them actually. We'll drill a 5 16th hole for each one of them. These are going to go in the bottom. And these are going to go in the top. And so the thought is, is that we'll have almost metal to metal all the way through for our uh, quarter inch drill bit to go through and it'll be a nice guide. So we'll get a clean cut hopefully on our magazine. Uh, the way I mark the holes is just simply take a piece of notebook paper, put this piece along the bottom where it needs to go put your stop here and then take your piece of notebook paper and put it up against there like so and then just 
just mark your holes and you'll want to drill the holes both in this piece and this piece and then we've got two other holes that need to go on the ends so one here and one here and uh, just drill them whatever size uh, carriage bolts that you've got and they're going to come up through the bottom and we'll try to countersink them the best we can and then we'll have some sort of little plastic handles that'll screw down over the top of those to, to clamp the to clamp the whole thing down put pressure on the magazine that's it All right, so we got two more holes to drill for our carriage bolts, and so all I'm going to do is take, kind of eyeball it, put two holes here for my carriage bolts. So the key here is to keep that tight without busting the wood. So we got that in there, so that's holding. So now, see, I, I should have, let's see, what kind of hole. I may have to drill these top holes out a little bit, I don't know. Depends on how hard this is to get off. Yeah, it's kind of tight. Well, I think it'll be fine. All right, so we got our carriage bolts in here. See there, there's our gap. Slide a magazine in and tighten those things down. I'm hoping this top piece will loosen up over time. Uh, I really hesitate to drill a bigger size hole in it, but we'll see. So the last thing I need to do is uh, attach this backstop and uh, the bottom here, which both of these really should be glued. I don't know if I've got any here. If I don't, I'll have to just uh, put some nails in it. And then uh, you want to take, because I used quarter inch T-nuts, uh, we need to take a quarter inch drill bit and just run through this, these things to drill the uh, threads out. And so it'll be uh, also, a, you know, exact guide that, that fits the bit. So uh, after we get those three things done, I think we'll be in good shape. All right, so I have the jig here in its assembled form. We've got the T-nuts and this top piece. I did switch out the bottom T-nuts with some steel spacers to see if they're you know having that back pressure against the magazine help with the tear out uh, which it might have just a little bit 
but I'm not sure it was, you know, worth the effort. These tea nuts just don't go all the way through this three quarter inch wood. And I, I couldn't find any that was long enough to do that anyway. And to be quite honest with you, I don't like these tea nuts, uh, especially in soft wood like this pine that I use, simply because if going down through uh, the, the thing, if you hit the side of it at all, uh, the, the, the nut pops out and then starts spinning up and down your drill bit. So I, I did not like that uh, to the point where I, I think that the, I would just assume do without them. Uh, if nothing else, put you some steel spacers in uh, the top and the bottom. And you can get some that are pre-cut. They're just quarter inch by, I think, the three-eighths uh, outside diameter at the uh, home supply store and just drill your holes uh, a little bit bigger than what they were for the T-nuts. Uh, in this case there were three-eighths and put them through there. Uh, another thing that I didn't necessarily take into account for when I when I picked this pine is you know when you're when you're tightening down on these things if you're if you're not careful you can over tighten them and then what will happen is is these uh, carriage bolts will start turning and uh, that won't be good as well and yes these things are sticking out uh, too far on, on the bottom but I, I, I've got the one inch spacers instead of the three quarter inch just simply because I wanted to make sure they came all the way uh, through the wood and I was going to come back and, and either cut these off with a drum oil grind them whatever uh, and I probably still will I, I think I'm going to use this jig uh, for some magazines, I'm just not going to use it for the particular magazines that I thought originally was. Uh, I, I had some uh, home shop machinist magazines that are pretty old. I, f I found a guy on Craigslist that had a pretty good collection of them and bought them at a really good price. And I had several of them already made this in this uh, cardboard notebook. And the thing worked out okay, but you know the the magazines move around a lot and they don't stack well simply because you know this thing's not all that sturdy. But at the same time, it is protecting them, and you can you know, throw this in a in a bag and and they'll be protected you know while you're on the go if you want to carry them with you somewhere. But they're just they're just the downfall is they're just not good for stacking. This on the other hand is excellent for stacking uh, and these are the test magazines that I drilled and uh, I think what I'm going to use this for is these type of, of magazines where I'm not necessarily as attached to them but I'm keeping them around for reference so I'll just I'll just drill these and, and it worked out pretty good uh, there's just some tear out a little bit of you know tear out on these things that I just didn't necessarily like and I thought that these brad point bits were going to be the the ticket to making sure that you know I got a nice clean cut and going in it is a it is a pretty good cut but you know on the back side there's just just a little bit more tear out than what I would like and I, I did try going at it from both sides but it's it's kind of tough to do that simply because your your magazines aren't that thick uh, one thing I did not try to do is is do multiple magazines at one time to see if let's say uh, the one in the middle turned out better than all the rest of them uh, you know there in that scenario you could have a sacrificial magazine in the front and the back and do that but you know, I, I don't know if that would help at all, but it was a successful project. I, I think that uh, I will continue to use this to, for all my woodworking magazines, and we'll, uh, we'll call this a success. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me here, and uh, like and subscribe, and we'll have more videos soon.